It's interesting that uh, seasonally, it's at the end of the year that we have our, our gratitude feast, our Thanksgiving. I mean, I'm sure it has to do with harvest, but also it's a placement at the end before the winter, before the, before the darkness. Just like at the end of a life, the last week of a life, or the last day of a life, or the last hour, there's usually this moment of just stopping looking for what could be better and just experiencing the gratitude that one lived. The gratitude that one has this moment to inquire into who one really is. What is it that lives and dies? Who are you? So if you aren't experiencing gratitude, I'm not asking you to impose gratitude onto your state of mind, but I am asking that you just tell the truth about what it is you have to be grateful for. to be courageous enough to tell the truth about that. Because there's a kind of uh, misery in company and you sort of have to stand up by yourself to acknowledge the gratitude to be. The gratitude to see. The gratitude that somehow you have this astounding leisure in your life and the desire to know the truth, the desire to be free, that those are together, that those have come together in a lifetime, it's a miracle. And that you have acknowledged that desire and that you have chosen to be here together on an afternoon where you could be doing a million different things. You have that much leisure. You have that many choices. But you have chosen to be here with your like-minded people who also have a desire to be free the desire to know the truth and the desire to serve that truth and to serve freedom so that one's privilege of life can be offered rather than held, protected, or denied, covered, can be offered to life itself you can call it evolution, you can call it spiritual awakening. You don't have to name it at all. But to experience it and to let that experience have the entirety of your life, past, present, and future. And from that clarity, then to ask the question, then what a conversation is possible, internally, externally, in this room, with your children, with your friends, with your enemies, what a conversation is possible. 